just coming back from the post office. You can see that behind me. And uh, my hands are full, so I can't take my mask off, but got some mail. So I'm excited to open that up. I got Sherry waiting in the car. I will meet ya in the music room. Hi, my name is Frank. It's Friday. That means it's time to kick back, relax, and talk music. This is the first installment of Friday Night Vinyl here of 2021. Hope you guys had a good break. I ended up taking like two weeks off of work, but I uh, didn't relax much. I painted the movie room here in the basement and we painted our bedroom and the bathroom and you gotta get these things done right 33 years so um thank you all for tuning in to my last few vids over the break i appreciate it but now let's get on with this let's open the mail all right, first, shout out and thank you to Dave for sending me this card over. I got it, thank you so much. I have a few other pieces of mail to open, but uh, before I get to that, I wanted to touch upon this album again. This is Marilyn Manson's 2020 release called, um, I don't wanna mess it up, We Are Chaos. And uh, Channel 33 RPM viewer, my pal Christopher from across the pond sent this to me and I said I would come back to share my thoughts on this Marilyn Manson album. And I gotta tell you, I am digging this. I absolutely love it and I'm kind of surprised by it um, because I wasn't a fan of Manson's earlier stuff. The beautiful people don't like the drugs, but the drugs don't like me, all that stuff. Did absolutely nothing for me, so um, as a result, I haven't really listened to anything Marilyn Manson has put out for, gosh, I don't know, like a decade or more. It wasn't my jam. Um, however, this album is good. It's really good. It's, uh, it's moody. I made a note here. It's moody. It's heavy. It's mellow. It's got layers to it, and um, I never did a... a list of my top releases of 2020 but if i had this album would be on that list along with releases like the new one from ice t's body count uh, ozzy osbourne's ordinary man and acdc power up so color me impressed i dug this album and the pressing is really nice too i know we complain a lot about pressings and quality of pressings nowadays but uh this one on this it said blood red but it's more like this pinkish vinyl, I guess. Um, sounded really good. Anyway, thanks Chris, Christopher for sending this. And I would recommend anyone check this out. The new one from Marilyn Manson, We Are Chaos. Just looking in here, I, I finally broke down and got new glasses as well over the break in addition to doing all the painting. And I call these old man glasses because they are trifocal and I resisted that for so long um, but I just when I'm looking at like my computer or my phone I just can't see up close so it's like a trip it's like the top part is for distance driving the middle part is for kind of close up and um, or, or near to you and the bottom is for I'm um, reading so I say like driving computer reading anyway yes I'm happy with my new glasses I used to have to take them off when I read things now I can keep my glasses on so that's cool anyway let's get to the mail this first one comes from Sean out of Orleans Ontario so thank you Sean it was a nice surprise to get this from you and it looks like a Christmas card the postal system has been terribly terribly slow lately. I've had a couple of people email me saying they sent something and if I got it yet. But um, things slow down around Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Best wishes for the holiday to you and yours. Merry Christmas. Sean 2020. Thanks, man. And Sean left notes. Gotta love the notes. So this was sent December 14th. Um, hi Frank, just uh, a short note to say hello and to thank you for all of your hard work and bring us channel 33 RPM 
uh, to the vinyl community. You are you provide a great service to all of us. Happy holidays, Sean. Thank you, Sean, for saying that. Um, I love doing the videos, and uh, I love that you guys all watch. So awesome. Thank you. Let's open up this one. This comes from 1441 Engraving. And he did not tell me what he was sending. But based on what I have seen elsewhere, I suspect that this is a record weight. So I'll just open this up. There we go. Is there a note or anything else in here? We have a sticker, 1441 engraving. So 1441 engraving, I'll leave the website address here on the screen, but they are from Georgia, I believe. So nice box. And let's see, it came from, here's a card, came from Chris at 1441 Engraving. He's got some uh, cool, whoa, this is sweet. Wow, look at this. It is a um, record weight. It's not a clamp, it's a record weight. That's really nice with the logo on it. Frank Landry's channel 33 RPM, vinyl gear and more. Let the, um, camera focus on that so you can see it this is kind of neat on the back of the record weight it's sort of got this um, padding on it so I'm not sure you guys think about record weights I have no uh, I, I know I've posted and did a video about them before and the reaction was kind of mixed I, I do have a record weight that I use and it's the um, groove washer record weight and I do find some value to it. I mean you use a record weight you're not going to notice a day and night difference in sound quality but I'll tell you what, what they are good for particularly with the really thin records the really thin pressings um, which really became a thing in the 70s for a bit but particularly in the mid 80s sort of during the at the tail end of the vinyl era I mean they just kept getting thinner and thinner and they just just floppy anyway when those records get slightly warped they start kind of rising off your turntable um, and when you put even a light record weight or um, a puck of some sort on your center spindle it really helps bring that down and flattens out the record when you flatten out the record helps your needle um, really track the grooves a little bit better. So I really do think there is a benefit in using a record weight, particularly with those sorts of records. I don't use it all the time. I put a really thin record on. I know it's almost every single time I put the record weight down, it flattens it out a little bit and it levels it down towards the platter. And I do think there's benefits to that. Plus the record weights look cool, right? <laughs> you gotta admit it, especially this one. I dig it. Thank you so much, um, Chris. There are two Chris's in today's video. Thank you very much, Chris, for sending this. I am going to use it, and I will use it proudly. So, yeah, thanks again, man. And um, I'm assuming they can do all sorts of custom engraving if they can do this. I never even sent Chris my logo, so he must have got it off the web. I mean, again, you can see it there. This this is a little bit, it's usually more rounded on my logo, but that's darn close. So uh, hit up Chris at 1441 Engraving to see what he can engrave for you. Muchos gracias, mi amigo. Thank you so much. And I got this envelope from my pal, Jacob Murphy. And um, I totally dig Jacob's YouTube channel, Rock Oli records and i've been subscribed to that one nearly since the beginning if you're not familiar with jacob I believe a, a picture of him here but i find his videos extremely informative he has a sort of cool calmness about him he's very um detailed in his reviews of records and um, his words are very well thought out and purposeful and I always learn something from watching Chris's channel not Chris's sorry I got Chris in my head Jacob's channel he's also really big into like the MoFi pressings and and really quality pressings he's got amazing gear and um, I mean the video that stands out from of his from the video of his that stands out most for me was his review of the MoFi pressing of Twisted Sister Stay Hungry because he showed in such detail and he's got so much love for that album which uh, that album also means a lot to me so thank you Jacob for sending this 
and I think I know what it is. And I said, mail's taking a long time. Like he sent this, when did he send this? What's the date on here? Um, date of mailing, well this is crazy. He sent this November 5th, two months, two freaking months. It took to get uh, across the border from the US to Canada and be delivered to my house. That's nuts. But that's the state of affairs right now. So, okay. The notes, I love the notes, and I keep every single note I get. I got a box of them in my closet. Uh, okay, come on, bifocals, work for me. He says, uh, Frank, you are a class act. Well, thank you. And um, thank you for all the support and kindness. You rock. Your friend Jacob. Keep on spinning. Awesome. Well, Jacob is a class act. And he sent me uh, one of his Rock Oli YouTube channel shirts. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, double sided. Okay. So, Rock Oli Records. Can you see that? Got the devil horns there. I dig it, man. In the back, he's got his uh, tree logo on there. And there's writing in that tree. I've never noticed that before. What does it say? It says, um, a spin a day keeps the doctor away. Rock Oli Records. I love it. It's a high quality shirt. Really high quality. Soft. I love it, Jacob. Thank you so much. It's very kind of you to think of me, and I shall wear this with pride. Dear 33ers, please do check out Jacob's channel, Rockoli Records. Tell him Frank sent ya. That is it. That is my Friday update. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Let's talk record weights. Do you use them? What do you think of them? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you dug today's video, I'd appreciate a quick thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for? Dear 33ers, have a great weekend. Until next time, keep on spinning.